My name is Joanna Hopkins. I'm a visual artist and I created the multi-sensory installation here today. The installation is a multi-sensory installation. It's in the Lexicon Gallery in Dunleary and it's funded by Creative Ireland and Dunleary Rathdown County Council Arts Office and it's part of their Creative Ireland's Creativity in Older Age programme. The challenge for people with dementia is miscommunication. Sometimes they're trying to communicate something to you that you don't quite understand, you don't quite get. The way they act isn't always what they're trying to communicate. Environments like this, like the gallery, it, um, it's able to integrate them into society better. They feel like they're part of everyday life. As an artist, I've worked with plants for the last few years, so plants are a big inspiration for me. And this particular brief was to create a multi-sensory installation based on a painting off the People's Park. So for me, I was drawn to the plants in the painting, but also the plants in real life. The catmint plant, it's planted all around the People's Park today, but it's planted around where the woman is sitting in John Coyle's painting, The People's Park. So I was really inspired by the painting itself of the winter scene in the People's Park, but then the installation is inspired by the People's Park today, this summer, and that's where the, the catmint comes in, it's a summer flower. So I wanted to merge the two ideas together. So I just took one plant and explored that in four or five different ways, and then saw what happened and was influenced by what happened both what people physically did with the plant and what people talked about, and then the incidental conversations that happened in and around the workshops as well. In the first workshop, we were looking at the painting by John Coyle and Helen, a participant, said, oh, this really reminds me of that poem, I Will Wear a Red Hat, and we read it out. And it's a lovely poem by Jenny Joseph called Warning. And the first few lines are, when I am an old woman, I shall wear purple. With a red hat, which doesn't go and doesn't suit me. And the whole poem is about growing old and not giving two hoots about what people think and doing what you want. I think that must be your one, because you really did hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Everything in this multi-sensory installation is designed to be touched and interacted with. So as you come into the space, the first thing you do is you sift the soil and you propagate or pot a plant. Um, when you cut a catmint cutting and you rub the leaves between your fingers, a really intense smell comes, um, comes out. You pop your plant in the window space to grow and people were invited throughout the entire exhibition, the general public as well, to pot a plant and leave it in the space to grow. So right now we have over 100 plants growing in the window um, for the last few weeks. As you move through the space, again, you're allowed to touch everything. So we have dried catmint cuttings on the wall, all taken from the People's Park. And as you crumble them, the dried flowers are also quite an intense smell. So the installation depends on people interacting with it and depends on people touching it to get the full experience of it. When you pass the dried catmint cuttings on the wall, you walk into this circular space, which is the hanging panels of material, which were eco-printed with the, the catmint flowers. And you come into this enclosed, intimate space, but you can still see through them, so you're not entirely shut off. And then on the, the bench that you sit at, it has been specially designed for people uh, wheelchair users to also sit at and a bench is there for them to reach out and touch everything as well. So it, it, the space is designed with everybody in mind and then on the bench we also have custom made chocolates. These are milk chocolates made with bee pollen and cinnamon and it's the idea of marrying the People's Park in the painting, which is set in winter time, and then the People's Park of today, which is set in summer time. So it's kind of merging those two ideas together. I'm really interested in how all of our minds, but particularly minds affected by dementia, are have an incredible ability to jump from the past to the present instantaneously. And I think that should be something that's celebrated. 
And so I like the idea of taking this installation and merging those two aspects together, the past and the present, the People's Park painting of then and the People's Park of now, and how reality is different for everybody and how to create a space that celebrates that. Well, it does make me happy, yes. It makes me, makes me feel relaxed. Enjoyable, sit down, look at it, and take time looking at it, like here, yes. I just feel our residents hugely benefited from a thing like this because of the way they acted even afterwards. They just seemed more enlightened and happier in themselves because they had conversation instead of just being in the nursing home doing the same activities over again. It was a change of scenery, something different happening. There's only positives to come from something like this. Only positives. The installation itself depends on people interacting with it. So that's smelling, touching, tasting, sitting down, listening, looking, and potting a plant. So there's so many aspects there for you to engage with the growing gallery. And the more you engage with it, the more the installation will grow itself. Mm -hmm.